just pause and read it. None of us are real. Here we are. Back to Pokemon Clover. Episode 9, is it? Every time we play this, it feels like it's been forever. Sleepy Barry be like, The hell do you mean? I was just tortured. Irrelevant plus skill gap, plus we're almost in the double digits of episode number. How is that irrelevant? Episode 10, the first of many double digit episodes. Wow, Joey, I can't believe how smart you are when your meds are working. Oh, really? That's right, Joey. You're such a smart little guy. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, Donnie. You're so sweet today. I was lying. Wait, what? And Barry, why the Fortnite are you Fortnite? saving the game? We just started. Holy crap, relax. I just saved the game because in real life, that's what I want most, to be saved. LMAO? Did you just? Yes, I did. Wait, did you just? Yes, I did. Oh, let me finish. Gross. No, shut up. This is quickly becoming not worth the time to ask, but why did you say ooh, Fortnite ooh, right ooh, there? Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, 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 Joey? Uh, daddy. Uh, what was that? Daddy. What the? Oh, God. Uh, ooh, rips. The insides. Pause. Daddy. Uh, I squeeze in my heart. Awful grip. Stop. Squeeze it in my heart. Your powerful grip. Crush it under your powerful grip. Yes, hey. ecstasy. No. Uh. <laughs> ecstasy. So do you... Uh, do you want me to catch this one or uh, what? Yeah, sure. Why not? What the hell do you mean, sure, why not? Did you hear the shit you just said about this thing? I don't remember what I said, but that doesn't mean I'd want to catch it. No. Why did you kill it? My, my bad. I had no idea that thing was grass type. It was green. What kind of idiot are you? Well, it sounds like you do actually care if we catch it or not. And it's no big deal. But look, a cute little pink thing. Catch it. God, the topper really makes me feel some sort of way. What? Hungry. Oh, what? What? Whatever. Donnie, why did you say Fortnite right there? Bro, it was just a little goof. Don't get triggered over it. I'm not triggered. I was just asking. Bro, Fortnite is all the rage nowadays and YouTube doesn't like swearing. So it just makes sense to say Fortnite instead of fuck. That's my genius business mind kicking in once again. Yeah, yeah, real genius. Quit talking as if you're hip with the kids. I am hip with the kids. Joey has no idea how to be as hip as I am. What the, why am I catching strays here? I've got that childish riz. Joey, you, <laughs> um, never mind. <laughs> Anyways, changing the subject. Thank you to everyone watching who's subscribed and likes each video. Our channel's been growing at an awesome rate and it's, all thanks to you. <laughs> yeah, you, you're watching this, I see you. Well, that was a pretty creepy thing to say, but Says let you. me shout out our top three donators to date on Ko-Fi. Real quick, thank you to Matt G, Neo Venom Strike, and Nikolai F for your donations and kind words. And a YouTube sponsored thank you to Mimic for donating $5 and Mr. Huff for donating $4.99. What the fuck? What is it now? Why the hell did Mr. Huff donate one cent less? Is the greatness that is the United States not worth even an extra cent? That is the most petty shit I've ever heard. You really shouldn't get angry at this guy either, since he was one of your few allies from the waifu tier list you made, since everyone lets you know how trash that list was. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Pincus is a funny name. Oh, that tickles me. <laughs> oh, Pincus is a funny name. Shut the fuck up. Um, okay, sorry. I didn't make that list for any haters or those who say I was wrong. I made it for me. But if what you said about him is true, then donate as little or as much as you want, King. Us higher beings have to stick together. Of course you'll meet right the one person who thought that list was good. Everyone knew that list was great. They just- Oink, oink. Oink, snake, snakey, fist me. What? Oink, 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 oink. <laughs> Snakey. I think snake, snakey. Snake, snakey. Fist me. Hey, Joey, guess what? What's up? Oh, oh my oh, God. Oh, golly. <laughs> Why the hell did you go and snap his finger? He's pissing me off. <laughs> Fuck. Joey? Fuck, that feels incredible. Um, I'm coming. What the? Uh, 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 oh, oh, oh. Oh, golly! The fuck? <laughs> Joey, fuck. you have to stop. Oh, fuck, that feels incredible! Awesome. Another Pokemon added to the Pokedex. I, I, I have so many questions. Why the hell did you start oinking? I really don't remember that. What part don't you remember? That you did it or why you did it? Um, I plead the fool. What you... I mean, I pity the fifth. Okay, then. 
Don't answer me. How's your finger? Let me name this guy, please. Uh, I guess there is no avoiding this. Dunn Q. Barry Sandes. And my finger is fine. Um, what'd you say there? And how's your finger fine? And Joey, why are you naming it that? I don't remember. And I focus on the pain. The only thing that's real. And what, did you have a better name in mind? I didn't really care to name it, but you didn't have to oh, name look. it. Oh, look. A sweet little lassie. Lassie Lizzie with my glizzy. Oh, holy moly. It looks like she has five. Five? Yeah. Five of those absolutely adorable little ba. Ba, ba, ba. Ba, 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 ba. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Shut up. Ba, ba. Shut the fuck up, Joey. Shut the fuck up. Can you stop with the mental hospital patient act every fucking time something happens? You are driving me fucking insane. You are driving me fucking insane. You... No! You are dry! Holy shit. Okay, guys, we need to calm down. Let's just all relax a bit, all right? Okay, okay, okay. Let's try that thing I tried before. All right. Okay, here we go, guys. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one, inhale. Feel better? No. Oh. Not trying to disappoint you, Joey, but I don't think that's ever going to work. Oh, man. Joey, could you please cool it? That's all I'm asking right now. Donnie, what, what's got you so worked up that you're getting as upset as you are? Nothing. I'm just not excited to have to take the reins again in real life. You were just beaten and tortured, and who's to say it's not going to get worse? I'm not into the idea of getting cut in half or something. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but there's something different about when we get hurt in real life that I really don't like. Joey, Donnie just snapped one of your fingers, and you definitely uh, liked it, let's say. How is that any different? Well, Barry, my black boyfriend... No matter how you space out what you said there, it will sound wrong. Uh, continue. Let Uncle Joey tell you that there are two kinds of pain, and what Donnie did to me was the good kind. Wait, no. Don't box banjo. The good kind? That wasn't my intention. Put Pickman back into the party. Settle down, you two. I'm just putting two Pokemon into the daycare so we can come back someday and they'll have some more levels. Why does the stupid ass ice type have to be one of the two getting passive levels? Don't you know I hate the ice type now? Well, that's unfortunate you feel that way, but I thought since we're not going to use it, even though one of our viewers suggested it, we will at least evolve it sooner rather than later. I guess it's not like we have that many different Pokemon right now anyway, so that's fine, I suppose. How kind of you. And don't make fun of my mental state for being a bit unstable when you're clearly the same way over the same thing. Nope, that's Cap. Of course it is. What were we even talking about? That's actually a good question to ask. Uh, I think before that whole thing, I think we were talking about Donnie's tier list. Everyone knew that list was great. They just fear the repercussions of publicly agreeing with me. Doubt it. You were also meat riding the one person who actually liked your list. Oh, I'll show you meat riding. Hey, yo. What about that plebeian you call Matt G? Excuse me? Oh, you mention him like every other episode. You even rigged the wheel to land on his name for the name of our lastly. I did not. Oh, so you just expect me to believe that it just so happened to land on him? Knock it off. What if I told you we also bought merch? That doesn't matter at all. You just need to quit your meat riding and sh Wait, hold on. Did you say he bought merch? That's right. He bought merch. Boy, you oh, pass? oh, That'll oh, be one fuck off. Uh, it's been no, a hot minute since this happened uh, while we were playing Clover. Pay Wasn't he just talking uh, about mental well stability? Uh, Man, is everyone here except me totally nuts? What the fuck? Why here? Was that Benny? I done seen some Jews over yonder, I swear. Not Benny, though. It hasn't been that long, but, you know, after all we've been through, I wouldn't mind seeing that little shit. Or anyone else, really. Yeah, yeah, we get it. Barry needs a little man to keep him company. Fuck what you. was this about merch? I got this one, Bear Bear. Don't call me that. That's right, Donnie. Your boy Matt G sent the editor some pictures of merch he got from our channel shop. The amount of customization is apparently crazy. We have just the logo, but he added a bunch of other stuff, including my dearest heart suite, the topper. Okay, besides the last lead bit, that's actually sick aft. You know what? Why don't we sell some suits or something? I could promote the channel at my rallies and whatnot. That'd definitely be a good way to boost our sub count. We recently hit 1K, but we're already at 1.2K. Thank you all, by the way. We'll hit 1 million in no time. One digit at a time here, Barry. It's good to dream big, though, so you're on the right track. Just don't stay dreaming. Damn, Donnie, that's actually real inspirational. Yo, wait up. This guy asked if we like posting pictures of our shit online. 
Don't I ever? That's definitely not what he said. You inverted albino raisin? Huh? Also, touching on the suits again real quick. Could you imagine the level of advertising we'd get if we launched Vox branded suits? People could wear them to marriages, funerals, even Epstein's Island? Uh, no. If it's money we want the most, we should definitely focus our efforts on weddings in Vegas. And places like that last one I said. Oh, cool. A Pokemon I already have. And uh, the level of inspirational wholesomeness really flatlined. I can't believe we've been mucking around this bloody pond for 10 minutes now, mate. That might be the worst thing you've ever said, Joey, and you've said a lot of terrible shit. Ah, bugger me fucking hell, mate. Uh, was that racist? No, Barry, that couldn't have been racist. You're black. Um. And trainer beware, you're in for a scare because there are trainers down here. Well, that was actually fucking disgusting. Okay, well, now we know the answer to Benny's question from a few episodes ago. No! I don't think that character sprite is supposed to indicate that someone is an African Muslim. They're just absolutely shit memers. The only African Muslim here is Barry. Fuck you, Trump. Holy moly, he just hit you with the last name card. Um, I gotta change the subject. Um, um, uh, hey everyone, have you checked out channel membership yet? It's a fun way to support the channel and receive these hilarious and awesome emojis and member icons and stuff. Fucking shill. Um, okay. Only $2.99 a month. Not bad, right? No, I mean, just shut up already. Nobody came here to listen to religious sermons about monetizing the channel. You just lost us 68% of our viewers. Oh, yeah. Thanks for reminding me. Oh Did you know God. that a whopping 68% of our viewers aren't subscribed to us? What are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button and become a part of the community now. What the fucking shit? Right? This guy is using all the video real estate he can to shill. Bitch, you do the same thing. Don't get upset at that when you yourself have shilled on the channel before, but no, not that. Is this fucking flower not a grass type? Why does Sludge Bomb do half damage? No way it's a fucking poison type. Why is every Pokemon in this game a goddamn poison type? I don't shill. I promote and influence and win. Now you're done with your disgusting shilling, Joey. Is there anything else, anything at all? Uh, let's see ya. Uh, oh yeah. Share the channel and the videos with people. YouTube loves it more than anything. When a person clicks a link that brings them to YouTube. Are you done? Uh, I think that chill. I wish we could just reset this play session and start again, but uh, here we are. Is that everything? That's everything. Thank God. Oh my God, is that Undertale? No, but it's definitely fucked up that it isn't a grass type. Actually, I, I have something. Uh, oh God, why? What is it? Well, I'm not sure if it's shilling, but it should be said. Our editor signed us up into a cult and he joined as well. What the fuck? A cult? Oh man, that brings back memories. Well, I mean, it's a Discord server, but that's not really too far from being a cult, is it? Well, I mean, I guess not. He just joined without consulting you first? Did we get invites? Uh, no, I think we joined through him since he represents our channel. I have no idea what he's doing though. And this, uh, this big ass number 22 thing is messing with me. So I got to switch. So what, is our community invited to join and socialize with everyone there? Yeah, and apparently it has a bunch of other editors for multiversal presidents in there as well, such as Game Producer 6, Broadway CG97, Pokemon Presidents, Discommel, Dilzan327, and of course our channel, Uvox. Wait, what the hell? What do you mean multiversal president editors? With this whole scenario we've been in, I guess it's not really a stretch for there to be other versions of us with YouTube channels. So is that what happened when Joey disappeared and then he returned, but he was different? Was that not actually our Joey? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Speaking of which, um, Joey, you never did tell us what happened to you during all that. Oh, come on, man. I was tweaking on fish oil pills. Well, how am I supposed to remember that? Well, what were uh, our other selves' reasons for starting a YouTube channel? Was it to pay off the national debt like ours? Are they successful? They have varying degrees of success with the ones that Game Producer 6 edits for having the biggest channel on all of YouTube. Oh, wow. Good for them. Or uh, uh, I guess us. I knew we could do it. I bet that national debt is all paid off. And then some. Well, actually, I think they just pocket all the money. What? Okay, normally I'm all for pocketing money whenever possible. 
but even I have my limits. Are you saying that Universe's version of us just happily pockets money that should be going to the country? Well, I think it's a three-way split. I'm happy to see that they're at the very least just as good of friends as we are. I hate you. Oh no, Joey, I think you misunderstood me. Their Joey gets none of the cut. It's a three-way split with those two. Huh? And their editor. Holy freaking crap. Did the topper just get run over by a train? Yeah. Sorry, Joey. I'm sure there's a Pokemon Center right outside this Fuck, tunnel. That's Don't worry. so fucking hot. Now I hate you even more. You're the reason bullying exists. I don't think I ever told you that. How did you know? You've made it pretty fucking obvious, girl. All right, well, ignoring this blossoming drama, let me return to what I was saying. Barry, you thug. Oh, I know you're not about to say what I think you're gonna say. You just made our fish steal a berry from a train. How fucking dare you, Donnie? Yeah, Donnie, besides being just flat out racist, it's also- That's a part of his culture. Oh my fucking God. Historically, blacks with fish and bodybuilders with trains have always been at war. Both relations came from happenstance, but went on to build society into what we know today. The fish and the trains were at war long before humans, with the fish kings of old keeping the trains as slaves until the first great train uprising where it said scale and bone alike were crushed under the amazing power of the trains, which lead to the first thousand year war. But we can skip that part for the sake of time. Blah, 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 the fish reclaimed their land by stealing the high steam engine's berry and pops its daughter's cherry. Blah, 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 humans were introduced. Blah, 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 another war, blah, blah, blah. And that brings us to the modern day. Oh, and I forgot to mention things always got sticky when you were both black and a bodybuilder. And while the person we're facing isn't a bodybuilder, that's progressive. Society has moved on to the point where you don't need to be a bodybuilder to own a train. But um, anyway, the point of my story is to say that Barry is simply just honoring his roots by using a fish to steal from a train. I am completely floored. I was just absolutely flash banged by that story. And your immigration policy is so bad that they're even in our goddamn video games now. That's how many you've let in. Well, I, uh, Like, what the hell is this shit? It's not really my problem, but I mean, he looks like he's a happy little guy. It's fine if he stays, right? I'm still stuck on that entire story that you told. How do you even come up with that? Well, I'm pretty sure I was there when it happened. Right. Well, back to what I was saying. I think their editor delivers that universe's Donnie and Mai's payment in physical cash. It's harder to trace that way. Holy shit, I don't care anymore. God, this has to be the worst session of Clover yet. Between the shilling Joey's bullshit and the illegal aliens, I'm just so over it. Oh yeah, that reminds me, did we talk about channel membership? Yes. Okay, well how about the store? Yes. Oh good, good, well how about the co-fi? You, motherfucker. Okay in an attempt to mitigate more potential violence or arguing. I'm shifting the topic into the comment question. All right, Barry, you know what? That's a good idea because I was starting to get really heated. Comment question, since we've been in the talk of spending money, I've gotten the idea of asking, what is your favorite Pokemon related thing you've ever bought? And I don't mean the games, but I mean like a plushie or a figure or fuck it, even experiences like movies. I've been to the Pokemon Cafe in Japan and it was some of the most fun a fully grown adult man could ever have. You have to reserve your seats a month in advance, but boy, is it worth it. We are Tess Faceords lay epic potato lympho. Joey, please just answer the comment question. And of course the potato, a plant, isn't a grass type. Silly me. Yeah, obviously. Uh, excuse but me? But to answer your question, I'd say my favorite Pokemon thing I've ever gotten has got to be my Gardevoir. Uh, Wait, is it official stuff only? Uh, why do you have to ask that? Well, Gardevoir is just so hot, you know? Okay, uh, in that case, it doesn't have to be official, but let's keep things rated PG, okay? Jesus Christ, Joey. I can't believe you were about to say your Gardevoir Fleshlight is your favorite piece of Pokemon merch. Actually, I was gonna say, my male Gardevoir St. Andrew's Cross that impales me, but that's all right. I can do my favorite kid-friendly thing. Biggest fucking pause yet. Pause and go touch grass. Jesus Christ, Joey. Uh, hope you're not saying that it impels you where I think you're saying it impales you. Oh, you bet it does. Oh, that's nice. My chest. What, what the ever loving fuck? I'd probably have to say my plusle and men and bundle I bought from Toys R Us 20 years ago. They sit on a shelf in my dungeon. That's nice. What about you, Donnie? Nothing. What? That's bullshit. I know you play Pokemon and there's no way you haven't purchased at least one or two pieces of Pokemon merch. Nope. Nothing. 
Are you still on this bullshit of acting like? Shut it, nerd. Comment question closed. Okay, so you are. Why are you being such a little bitch? Just say what you've bought. Nothing. Donnie. Nothing. Jesus Christ. Nothing. Oh, come on, Donnie. You can do it. Share with the class. Everyone else already has. Fine. Uh, it was some Pokemon cards. Now, why was that so hard? Well, it was an accidental purchase. Well, it must have been a happy accident if it's your favorite. Okay, one second, I'll get back to that. But did this alien just get surprised that he's in faux shun instead of the USA? What was with that pause? The illegal caught me off guard and I had to think. Wait, hold on. If he tunneled in the wrong direction, wait, wait, wait. I think I'm on to something here. What do you mean? I can only assume he started in Mexico so he didn't go north because he would have ended up in the United States. And he couldn't go east or west because he just hit ocean on either side. And south doesn't make sense either because he would have ended up somewhere in South America. He obviously didn't dig straight up, so that means Fochan is underground. Hollow Earth is real. Well, that was fucking stupid. Joey, that was just a tasteless throwaway joke by the game developers. Nothing more. If you say so, Mr. President, can you go back to your story, Donnie? You're more interested in Pokemon cards when there is a crashed UFO right in front of us? I mean, we're trapped in a video game that isn't a video game in a different universe or something. So you'd think escaping would be our top priority. I'd rather die than have our fans not get content. I don't know which one of you guys is weirder sometimes. It's probably Joey after today, but all right. While you're battling this special needs kid with a rodent, I'll tell you. I pre-ordered a booster box to be delivered to Trump Tower when Pokemon cards were going to first come out in the States for my son, of course. Right. Well, that doesn't sound very accidental to me. Well, I mean, buying the cards wasn't accidental. But what happened because of ordering the cards was the uh, issue. Oh, God, what did you do? How can ordering cards go wrong? Do they forget the drink? I don't know how it happened, but something went wrong because instead of spending $100 for one booster box to get delivered to Trump Tower, I went down to the lobby one day only to see it completely filled with 100 pallets of Pokemon card first edition booster boxes. Holy shit, that's a lot of cards. Yeah, you could say that again. But uh, long story short, I had to pay off a lot of people and now Trump Tower has a vault in the basement housing thousands of unopened first edition Pokemon cards. Holy crap. Are you fucking serious? We have to do an unboxing video. That would get millions and millions of views. Absolutely not. It's basically my one ticket I have to guaranteed make my money back if I were to lose everything. Donnie, if there's ever a time to be reckless, it's to risk it all making the forever most viewed Pokemon card related video. Don't be boring. Sorry, Joey, but that's definitely a bad idea. At this point, Donnie needs to keep that shit under wraps. Yeah, no way that's happening. Maybe I can sell it for a few billion if we need it to top off the national debt, but it's basically the Trump family treasure. We are absolutely having our editor cut out this entire part. I've talked about it, by the way. Oh yeah, for sure. But yeah, everyone uh, comment down below your best Pokemon related purchase other than the video games. This will be the last comment question before we have our first community episode in episode 10. So make it count. Feel free to go back to, I think it was episode five and answer any comment questions you've missed since we stopped regularly including them in videos because episode 10 is going to be a long one. I don't remember what my favorite Pokemon thing was. Tragic, but now I suppose since we just beat this special kid into submission, we have salvage rights to this alien spacecraft. That's fun. Yeah, I can't wait to see what's inside. I hope they have probes. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Please, can we just ignore it? Uh, no, I want to catch one of these greys and see what else is inside. Are you feeling all right, Donnie? You're looking a little orange. Oh, 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 uh, oh fuck. <laughs> Donnie, are you okay, brother man? Oh, it looks like oh, you're shaking. Oh, that bird's not allowed to touch me. Donnie, what the hell is happening? Donnie, I've never heard you like this. Please, man, please, tell us what's happening. <laughs> That's a, <clears throat> it's a lot bigger on the inside. That's pretty quirky. Not too impressed with the decor, though. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, I was expecting this to be a small room or something, but this is a whole dungeon thing. I was obviously talking about your panic attack psychotic break thing you just had. I thought you were going to pass out or something. The hell is this shit supposed to be? A worm on a fishing hook? Don't fucking ignore me. Oh, like the cries of the children you bombed <laughs> that you happily ignored. What? Now! <laughs> 
Really, Donnie, you had to go there. No, stop, stop, he wasn't stop, listening to me, and maybe that'll get him to listen. You can't tell us about whatever just happened to you. We're not asking because we don't care. Like, I need to tell you guys anything. Now forget about it and move on or else. <laughs> no, fuck! <laughs> no. You're being a piece my, of shit, Donnie. My, Leslie was killed by a drone strike. Drone strike? <laughs> what can I get out of stay away from me? <laughs> Honestly, I have no idea what to name this freak. So I'm going to use another name from our list of suggested names. I'm going to go with Cell. It's kind of a cool alien-y sounding name. Thanks to Charlotte El Picho for that suggestion. Man, fuck this place. It's just big for the sake of being big. There aren't any puzzles or anything interesting. Who the fuck is this? How does a stairway in a spaceship lead out of a small hole in a mountain? I don't have the answer to either of those questions, but she just gave us a bow. Cool. Yeah, I guess. But I think it's about time we wrap up this session. I thought for sure we would have made it to the next city by now, but they really extended this route. It was still a productive session. Good job today, Barry. Thanks, Joy. Also, to everyone listening, we recently got new mics, so we might sound a bit different. Let us know what you thought of them in the comments down below. We're making do with what we have, and we hope you like it. Did you see that character just break the fourth wall? How fucking cringe. A small hole. Uh, this might be a boss fight or something since it gives me the prompt. I'm saving, and you can take this at the start of next episode, Donnie. Oh shit, Barry, that fucks hard. What, what the, the fuck? fuck?